Welcome to the Bookmap platform details. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. For more information, you can go to bookmap.com. Uh, once you are in trial and a member there, you have access to a lot of their free resources, which includes the advanced webinars that uh, start in about, uh, it starts every day after this one. Uh, so 11 uh, Eastern or New York time. And um, there we go through the um, uh, order flow, uh, live order flow analysis in detail. Uh, we'll do a little bit here, uh, but we're going through more about what the platform is showing and then answering any questions about the, uh, the platform and going through a lot of the features. Once you guys um, are up, up to date with, the, um, with all of the uh, uh, platform uh, features and components, uh, and then, um, uh, then it's time to move into uh, utilizing that, and uh, uh, that's what the other uh, webinar is all about. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Lloyd, do you have a question? Uh, how much does the data feed cost during the trial? Okay, uh, good question. Uh, so let me uh, jump over here and uh, show you bookmap.com, and we'll click on Explore. Um, so I'm going to answer that uh, uh, not directly here, but kind of indirectly, Lloyd, so uh, hang, hang with me for a bit. Uh, watch some of these uh, intro videos to give you an idea of what's going on uh, in Bookmap. And then uh, we'll scroll down here. Well, we can click on connectivity. Okay. So this is how you connect Bookmap uh, to the futures markets. Okay. And also uh, the um, uh, NASDAQ uh, total view. And I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, so you will need to uh, have your own data feed. Uh, Lloyd. So we connect to CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, uh, Stage 5, as you can see here, which offers all of these uh, as well. They're a brokerage. <clears throat> we also connect via the um, API in Ninja 7 and 8, uh, the API also for Trading Technologies, or TT, uh, X Trader Pro, uh, as well as uh, the API for the Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. Okay. So the rest are just data feeds like any other, uh, you would connect Bookmap like any other platform because we are a platform, right? So IQ feed, Transact, um, CQG, Rhythmic, AIM, Capital, those you all connect directly by inputting your data feed credentials uh, into Bookmap and you'll be up and running just like NinjaTrader or TT, okay? Uh, and those, those costs uh, for data feeds vary, all right? So we are not a data provider. Uh, we are just a software platform, all right? And that's uh, that's pretty typical in the uh, in the futures markets. Uh, so um, now there's one other connection uh, that we actually do have a partnership, and uh, we are providing uh, through the website, and that is the introduction for uh, Dev Experts or DX Feed, which will connect Bookmap to U.S. equities only. Okay. So it will be NASDAQ, total view, and last sale. So it's, it's, it doesn't, it's not just the NASDAQ. It's basically all U.S. equities, okay? But um, that is the data feed. It is an excellent data feed for a number of reasons, and we can get into it later. Uh, but <clears throat> let's go down to pricing. Uh, so here is um, uh, what you need uh, in order to give book map. Uh, a try, or if you're interested in outright purchase, there are two versions. There's the basic and the advanced, okay? 49 per month and 99 per month. They are billed quarterly, okay? With both of them, you get a 14-day trial period, okay? You're not charged, but your credit card is verified. Uh, and um, the difference between these two are the uh, the one-click trading, okay? Trading from the chart in Bookmap, which is a nice advantage. Uh, and then all of these uh, add-on indicators as well, okay? So that's that's the difference between the two for the most part. There are some other smaller differences as well. Now, there's also the basic and the advanced over here that comes with, it's a package deal that comes with DX feed. And the DX feed is, uh, like I said, it, this is only U.S. equities, okay? And uh, you can uh, subscribe to that deal as well. Uh, either or, uh, up to you. Okay, so Lloyd, you, you trade the futures, then uh, then the way to go, uh, well, let me, let me describe this. Um, <clears throat> you can still, 
try the basic or advanced here uh, and then uh, add DX feed later or, or you know a, a few minutes later if you want um, it's, uh, it's 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 available as an add-on so if you're interested in, in checking out some of the uh, US equities in bookmap then you can do so you don't need to get the package deal okay so if you're mostly trading the ES and uh, and CL or crude uh, then uh, go with either the basic or advanced here Okay, and then how do you connect, Lloyd? Um, what what do you use to connect uh, to the to the markets? Thinkorswim. Okay, yeah, we don't support Thinkorswim. So the uh, uh, what I would uh, recommend doing is you can probably get uh, you can reach out to like Stage Five or. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, let me let me show you some of our partners. Okay, Stage Five, Amped, Optimus, um, uh, some of these guys here. Uh, you can uh, reach out to Infinity as well, uh, Gain Capital. Uh, you can reach out to them and you can um, uh, ask for a, uh, a a trial as well there. So you, you'll need to get a trial and and uh, a subscription trial subscription to their data feed. Uh, most of them will allow it. Okay, and then uh, and then scroll down here and then do the trial also in Bookmap. Okay. All right. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, okay, so uh, once you are in trial, uh, like I said, you get uh, access to the advanced webinar as well as just um, uh, a host of uh, other educational um, uh, support material. Um, you can also follow us here on our Twitter feed and get the most up-to-date information. You can also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Uh, and um, uh, I would recommend watching some of these features and components videos just to understand first what Bookmap is uh, and then watch maybe just a few of the uh, uh, order flow video snippets. These order flow video snippets here very short, concise um, videos that go through a lot of the concepts that we go through in much more detail during the advanced webinar. Okay, so understand Bookmap and its components, and then get into uh, how to start using the tool. Okay, uh, and then uh, you can watch some of the selected webinars here uh, that uh, that we've um, uh, made uh, available here. So, for example, yesterday's uh, advanced live webinar uh, is available here. Um, and um, uh, we've, we've uh, just added it here to the selected webinars. So if you want to get a taste or feel uh, for what um, uh, these, these webinars are about, you can watch uh, the recording here. Okay, we also have the, a few recordings here as well of the um, platform details webinar that you're in right now. Okay, and then there's a professional trader here, Futures Trader 71, that uses Bookmap. So if you want to check out that, uh, take a look there. Okay. All right. Well, let's jump into Bookmap. All right. And uh, I, yeah, I'm not really sure what to look at here. Um, let's take a look at uh, the ES. Uh, let's look at uh, oil. Kind of, kind of like the ES to be honest. Um, yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with oil and uh, we'll take a look at this. All right. So um, let me uh, start here. And this is what we'll, we go through this process uh, every day so that uh, uh, the new people here understand what you're looking at. And this is a good review nonetheless. All right. So. Uh, all right. Now, this is a one minute candlestick chart. I'm going to make this into a. Five minute candlestick chart. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so most of us are very familiar looking at a candlestick chart. Uh, the uh, the problem here with a candlestick chart is there's only four data points that you are looking at here. Uh, let me uh, make this a little smaller here. It's just the open high low close of a five minute period, and that is it. Okay, reading the order flow within here um, is possible to do. Uh, however, you're making all sorts of assumptions 
uh, that you have you really have no idea where uh, for example um, where are the traders committed uh, was this a uh, buying pressure uh, or you know was this uh, um, uh, just a lack of, uh, of of buying and um, or, or selling a lack of selling so we just came back up uh, you know there's all sorts of data here that is missing okay um, the traded volume is is a is a massive piece uh, that is missing here. We see it in the sub chart here, and that's good. But uh, we have no idea uh, where the majority of the traders uh, traders committed themselves within this five minute period. Okay, we don't know where on the candle. We don't know what type of volume it was. Was it aggressive buying or selling? Uh, we don't know when exactly it took place within that five minute period, uh, and um, uh, yeah, in the in the location uh, where okay, which is uh, really key uh, uh, data, and uh, uh, without that data, uh, we're missing a really big part of the picture. So Bookmap solves that issue here with. Uh, let me just turn on the, just the historical best bid and offer to begin with, uh, and um, uh, we're just um, just turning on this. You can see we're, we're, we're already seeing a little bit of structure within this five-minute period, uh, and uh, and that can be really insightful. Uh, so, uh, for example, up in this little structural area here, okay, this is something we go over in the ad advanced webinars all the time. Okay, um, we we see a, a nice move to the upside. Okay, it bases sideways. We see one more tap to the upside here, uh, and then it breaks down. Okay. Now it comes back up and tests very briefly uh, into uh, this structural area up here, and then it sells off hard. All right. Seeing these little structural areas here and understanding how uh, price is um, uh, behaving in this area, as well as how the traders are committing themselves with volume, uh, it really gives you the insight. Okay. So. That's a, that's what we're going to do. We're going to turn on the volume dots here, okay? And uh, now we have an understanding of where the volume is trading and where they're committed, okay? So uh, it's not much of a surprise here to see the aggressor here, the green dots pulling the price up to the upside, okay? That's usually what occurs when you have a breakout of an area, uh, and uh, and you have the volume trading at higher highs, uh, and then. Um, uh, we can see that uh, that uh, order flow kind of flipped right here, okay? Uh, and we can see that, uh, note how there's uh, more selling down here, okay? And look at the retest up here, okay? There's a little bit of buying, but not that much. Let me zoom in. I'll just click on the hand tool, uh, and then I'm just going to zoom into this area here with my center mouse wheel, okay? So buying, buying, and buying, and then even more, buying here, okay? But a nice cluster of selling down below this break here at this 48, uh, 10, or 11. Okay. We get a retest here, and uh, the buyers dry up. We don't even get a test of the high again. Okay. Really insightful stuff. Okay. Start to look for price discovery to the downside, and we got it very, very quickly here. All right, so uh, uh, now you have the understanding of uh, what occurred within these five-minute periods. And uh, let's go back to this candle here, okay? So a majority of the volume traded down here in the wick, okay? Not a lot traded here. As we can see, it, it, it moved very quickly down there, and then all the volume traded down in this area, all right? Okay, and uh, and again, structure. We can we can look right at it, and I can we can tell you, like, we know that there is a structure here, okay, uh, and um, uh, it, basically here, uh, but uh, I'll go with a bigger structure over in this area here. We come right back up to test that, and we base sideways in between it, okay? So you can see just historical best bid and offer gives us a lot of insight, but then understanding the, the, uh, the transactions uh, within that structure uh, really starts to give us the, 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 the big picture here. Uh, of the order flow, or a clearer picture of the order flow. Okay. All right. So um, that is just the volume. Uh, now let's go to current price. Okay. And uh, uh, 
in the current picture of the market here in oil, okay, we see the same kind of pattern here actually starting to occur to the upside. See this, we, we drew this line in here earlier, just, just a minute ago at 47.80. We broke that structure right here, right? Uh, and, uh, and now we're moving to the upside. Okay, so um, uh, the um, uh, what I want to cover is just now the the current picture of of price and what's going on. So we have the transactions, and now that's historical, uh, and we know exactly where the traders are uh, have um, uh, transacted and have basically committed uh, into the market, right? And we know what type they are as well. Okay, aggressive buyers here, for example, uh, and um, uh, but we also want to see the other side of the order flow, which is the uh, um, where they're bidding and offering. Okay, so we usually use a dome for that. Okay, and this is the dome and book map right here. Okay, we can see best bid and offer is right here. Okay, 53 and 75, uh, and um, uh, that's reflected here in this window here as well. Okay, we see best bid and offer dashed lines, and then this this number is the last traded volume. Okay, now the depth of the offer is up to this white line here. Okay, this is all live uh, data, so they're constantly adding and pulling liquidity. The sellers up here on the offer at these price levels uh, are um, uh, willing to provide uh, liquidity up here. They want to deal up at some of these areas here. Okay. And then on the bid, uh, that's where they want to be buyers at these specific price levels. And this is really insightful because we can see uh, where traders uh, are uh, lining up to to deal. And uh, you know we'll, we'll see if they really want to trade when we get up there. But you can see there's, there's these are like targets. Um, and right now, uh, 48.05. Okay, not the figure. Uh, interestingly enough. Uh, 4805 is where the majority of that uh, selling liquidity is up here. 205 contracts. All right, that's in, that's the kind of insight that the limit order book or the dome can give you. Okay, problem is with this dome is that uh, this uh, data changes, and once it changes, you don't have a record of it. You don't know where. Uh, where they're, you know, let's say this, this these guys pull liquidity at 05 here and it's 70. Okay. Uh, so all of a sudden, we don't know if uh, there was interest up here before at 4805 or not. Uh, and um, uh, you would have to remember that just uh, in, in your head of the areas here of interest, the areas around it as well. And what about on the bid? Okay. Where are they interested in dealing as well? And that's a lot of information to uh, keep in your mind and to trade. And for those of you who do trade off of the dome, looking for the order flow here, uh, understand how, how taxing that can be. Uh, where Bookmap uh, solves that issue is by uh, recording the data. Okay. So uh, now uh, areas of high liquidity, so that 206 up here, Okay, it's a really bright area in this window here. This is the current market window, okay, uh, to the right of this vertical white line. So you'll see that when the liquidity changes, the um, uh, the uh, uh, heat map here will change, okay. When it gets darker gray, they're, they're pulling liquidity. When it gets brighter, they're adding liquidity, all right. So uh, I've got it uh, pretty... We can adjust for that as well because, you know, it looks like these are all the same here at 186 and this 223. It's not that. It's just that the uh, we can adjust for that in the heat map. Uh, and um, uh, we can, uh, you know, look at some of the subtleties here in that uh, in that liquidity by adjusting the heat map. Okay. All right. So we see that there's some selling interest here right up at the high here. Okay, 185. All right, so now where this really gets interesting in Bookmap, and this is the, the distinction between us and others, is we take this data here, this intent to trade at these levels, okay, in the uh, limit order book, and then we transpose it on the chart historically. Okay, so you can see that, uh, uh, see these striations right here at this 4790 level? 
Okay, we can use this rollover tool as well. Uh, and um, we can see that uh, we get the date, the time, and then what was on the ask at 4790. So we had 158 contracts here, and then they boosted it up to 180, 176, uh, and then um, and then they pulled right at the last moment when price came in uh, close to them, and then they got right back in with 204 contracts. Okay, and uh, right here we can see that there was a transaction was met between those that were willing to sell and those that were willing to buy. Okay, you can see the volume dot that took place here. Okay. So now we have a uh, really good understanding of the um, the intent of these traders at this level. Okay, they they really wanted to sell. Okay, and we can see that the majority of them did sell right here. Okay, in fact, we can zoom in to this little area here, and we can t I can tell you exactly what what transacted. Okay, so as you can see, um, they. Uh, a lot of it, uh, I mean, we saw the big volume dots, but look at it, the last minute here, they started to pull, okay? Although I, I have my volume column over here, and I can see that uh, 171 contracts traded right here, okay, at 47.90. And remember here, we had 193 or, or 208 here uh, previously. So the majority of it did trade, uh, and then uh, some of it uh, was pulled. So about, uh, you know, 35 contracts were pulled. All right. Now there's all sorts of things going on here. Potential spoofing uh, type of activity with high liquidity right underneath here, pressing on price. But these uh, traders here really don't have the intent to trade. It's high liquidity that stays in the book for a very, very short period. Okay. And then they pull. Right. They, and you can see that behavior here. And look how this algo is showing us uh, the same thing. It's It's got to be um, very high probability. It's the same actor. Has high liquidity here, 194 contracts. As soon as they pull it, they add it up here. All right. So, um, uh, and then it looks like they pulled again, and then they added yet uh, a, a tick higher, but a little bit of time elapsed in between. Okay. Looks like it looks to me like they're trying to skew the auction to get price to come up into high liquidity. Okay, we have the figure, and we have our we have the highest liquidity up here at 4805. All right. So now, what we're doing is we're able to read and understand the intent of these traders in that limit order book and how they're behaving, as well as understanding all of the transactions uh, in the volume. And um, uh, now we have a complete picture of the uh, uh, of the order flow. Okay. Okay, so, um, uh, and again, um, we can look at that uh, historical best bid and offer and just look at some structure here. Okay, and this is where we broke. And look at the high liquidity up, up here that kind of, uh, you know, put a damper on things until the buyers took them on. And look where we're retesting, okay? This is, this is where we start to get into the more advanced analysis. Look where we're retesting right to where we broke from here at 47.90. Okay, so our buyer is going to come in here and support price. Uh, again, are we looking for the 48.05 to to uh, to be tested? Okay, and it looks pretty good. Okay, but uh, we need to you know uh, need to wait here and uh, get get a feel for that uh, that order flow. Like for example, right now uh, we continue to test here a, a bunch of times and we have not been able to get up above this. Um, uh, 4798 uh, area here. In fact, now we're starting to read some of the traders getting interested here uh, or more aggressive. Uh, ah, they're starting to show a little bit of interest here in that uh, at 95 here, as you can see. Okay, now that's short term liquidity though. The longer term liquidity is still up here. Okay. All right. So. Uh, anyway, now you're able to, but the, the key point here is, is twofold. Number one, um, well, there's actually three parts. Number one, the historical best bid and offer gives us the microstructure. Number two is now we can see where the transactions are taking place within the microstructure. And, uh, we can read that order flow. And then number three 
we can read the intent of traders outside of the uh, uh, historical best bid and offer. Okay, so for example, look at these guys now at at 47.90. Okay, they they are supporting price here. Okay, they were over here on the offer, and we're we're accepting uh, above that right now, and now they're interested in buying here at 47.90. All right, so uh, that's the uh, three distinct pieces and uh, how um, the problems with current charting platforms um, that they, they lack uh, some of the insight in the areas here uh, because um, uh, they, they, they're not, uh, they don't have that kind of level of transparency to be able to see uh, this, uh, this picture here uh, to... Uh, microstructure okay candlesticks are lacking that uh, and uh, the um, the volume and the transactions within that structure okay we don't get any of that at all uh, and then understanding the um, uh, the limit order book uh, we get the current picture of it okay in a dome and that's good but we don't get the historical picture of it and uh, here we, we can we can clearly start to to read it and piece it together Okay. So as, as we were looking here and we saw that uh, buying interest come in, look how we're coming up and now testing this, uh, this 47.98. It looks pretty good. Okay. Now this is the, this is the chance. If, uh, if those guys want to uh, uh, lift the offer and come up into 48.05, uh, uh, then this is their, this is their opportunity. And okay. then interestingly enough, they're starting to pull up here. Okay. Okay, uh, so let's see, Lloyd, how does this show me set up, go long or short? Okay, um, well, uh, let's let's take a look at a setup. Okay, very, very simple setup. There's, we went through several examples uh, of it here. Okay, here's a break to a new level. Look for a pullback to where it broke from and looking for um, either top of the range to be retested, okay, and you can get out there, or if you're um, bullish, hold this and look for the next level to break as well, okay? So uh, you, you could buy the breakout if you wanted here, or you could buy the pullback here, okay? You could have done that here, and you could have done that here, all right? Okay, so uh, uh, you could have done that several times here, in fact. You could, you could have done it here. You could have probably gotten back in again yet here, all right? And then uh, if you bought the, uh, or didn't get the breakout here, but you got the pullbacks here, here, and then maybe down here as well. And then look out to, look to get out maybe at the top of the range, or if you're bullish, hold it. All right, there's all sorts of setups that are available here. I mean, I know a lot of traders look at profiles. Well, here's a low volume node, and we're just going into it right now. Okay, so uh, are are you? Uh, let's let's take a look at the order flow. Okay. Yeah, it's not it's not so not so clear at the moment. Uh, in in fact, in sellers sellers uh, took control in this area here, but uh, let's see if we reject or accept. Okay, so. Um, uh, let's see if we come back up into this range up here. Okay, if we come back up into this range, I'm looking for the other side in 48 to get tested. Okay, that's another setup. Okay, uh, if we accept down here, then what I'm looking for is the opposite of what I was looking for over here. I'm looking for a retest to where we broke from right here uh, at 47.90 or basically 89. All right. So let's see if we get a retest of that. Okay. So now we're testing 47.80. Okay, we just traded through it. Boy, it's just going. It's going to go all the way down. Okay, so now I'm looking at uh, at 60 uh, 66 here. Okay, and let's see if we get some support down here at 66. Okay, we're there. 
Okay, and uh, let's see if we uh, see the responsive buyers start to step in now. Okay. I would anticipate buying activity in this area here. Okay, because that's the bottom of this range here, and we've just gone through two different ranges. I think gonna, they're going to take some profit down in this area here. Okay, I would be looking for a retest of 47.80. Okay, there's so Lloyd to answer your question um, very specifically, uh, we're not a setup, uh, we're not an indicator. Uh, it would be like asking uh, Ninja Trader or trade station or think or swim um, you know uh, okay so how, how do I how do I trade using your platform uh, you know what what what's your setup well there, there is no one setup uh, there are, there are several I mean it, and it's up to you to, to, to find out how you know you want to trade the market all right all right guys uh, I need to get going here um, and um, uh, if uh, you know what I'll do uh, tomorrow, uh, show up to the, uh, the, the webinar tomorrow, uh, and uh, I will give you the uh, link to uh, check out the advanced webinar if that interests you, okay? So, um, uh, you know, let me know, and then uh, we, can, uh, we can take a look at, uh, uh, you guys can uh, take a sneak peek at uh, the um, advanced webinar before, uh, uh, before we go on vacation here. Okay, Victor, you have Jigsaw, um, you like their dome. Um, oh, there's lots of differences uh, between us and and uh, and them. Um, so the, uh, um, I mean, we, oh boy, I mean, where do you even begin? Um, the, um, you know, w w one thing is like, you know, we're you, you won't be able to do this. Okay, you won't be able to zoom in here and study every single event. Right, uh, you won't be able to come in here and you'll be able to understand exactly. See the algorithmic activity here. Look at the spacing. Uh, look at how uh, this uh, these markets trade. Okay, but then being able to uh, analyze very specifically uh, the uh, the limit order book here in the in the detail. Okay, it, the updates of this is is um, uh, you know it's going to be um, uh, pretty pretty insightful compared to. Uh, some of the uh, other platforms that are out there, All right? And that's just one example. And I'm sorry, I, I, I could go in. Uh, why, don't, why don't you, uh, Victor, reach out to me at support uh, at bookmap.com, and I'll, I'll be happy to go through that uh, in, in some detail, okay? Yeah, you're welcome. No, I, I just, I'm sorry, I'm already late to the next one, and I, I, I've got to get going, okay? But uh, we'll, we'll continue on tomorrow, and uh, I'll give you guys the, uh, uh, the link, and you can, you can check out the advanced one as well, okay? All right, guys. Yeah, take care. Bye-bye.